In today's digital world, creating social media graphics and banners should not be the cause of any headaches. Yet many non-designer professionals struggle to get them done quickly, and after spending hours on them, they still don't quite look the way they intended. Visme was created to solve exactly these kind of issues. It gives you powerful tools and ready-to-use templates, so you can create stunning visuals in literally just a few minutes. So let me show you how it all works. When you start a new project in Visme, you'll find several formats to choose from. For banner ads, you will need to select the web graphics category and to create a design for any social platform like a Facebook cover, an Instagram post or a YouTube video thumbnail, choose social graphics. Within each category, you'll find hundreds of templates. Whichever you go with though, there are a few basic design principles you should keep in mind. The average US consumer spends less and less time on a desktop computer, but spends over five hours a day on a mobile device, which means the majority of the content you create will be consumed on a small screen. So keep that font size up. Make sure the colors you choose for your background and text make it easy for the viewer to read your message. If you're using a photographic background, adding a color overlay is a good way to help legibility. Alternatively, you can also frame your text by adding a background color to your text box to help it stand out. To add a color overlay, simply click on the image, hit filter, choose a color and set its opacity. To add a frame behind your text, simply select the text box, click on settings, choose the color and then resize and position your frame over your image. When creating graphics for social media or banner ads where skimming is standard, keeping a clear hierarchy within your design is essential. You have a split second to grab your audience's attention, so make sure your message is clear. Keep your word count to a minimum and give plenty of white space for each element to breathe. Use icons to illustrate concepts. Prioritize your elements and know what needs to stand out. Then use colors, scale, white space and positioning to guide the viewer's eyes through your design. Remember, everyone reads top to bottom and most cultures read left to right. Bold visuals like a heavy font or strong colors will grab attention over small and pale objects. Before choosing a color palette, think about what feelings you want to evoke in your viewers. Bright colors, pinks, yellows, reds can stimulate and energize, while other colors like pastel tones have a calming effect. Call to action buttons on banner ads are convenient to color with a tastefully contrasting color to the rest of the design so they stand out better. To find tested and beautiful color combinations, you can use Visme's built-in color palettes or browse around on sites like coolers. To add your own colors, just click on the big plus button and use hex codes. Just as colors, fonts evoke feelings as well. Not every font works with every message, and simply changing its font can change the text meaning entirely. For banner ads, it's important to put legibility before pure aesthetics, while in social media, a little ambiguity won't hurt. To find the right font for your message, there are over 100 fonts within Visme, or you can upload your own via the My Brand feature from your dashboard. Building a successful presence on social media relies on brand consistency. It takes 5 to 7 impressions for people to begin to recognize your brand, which means repetition of key brand elements such as your logo, colors, or typeface is essential. With Visme's My Brand feature, you can facilitate keeping all your graphics on brand, or of course you can do it all manually. Make a set of rules for yourself, like where to put your logo on each post and what size it should be. Or if you rotate your text, for example, make sure you always rotate to the same angle. But sometimes brands rely less on using the exact same colors and elements, and it's more about the mood of your images. That's fine too. In that case, you can choose an effect to use on all your images, or you can add a color overlay.